to this DCP web tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create an end screen on your YouTube video. So if I go to my YouTube page, and if I click on videos, I'm just going to scroll down and go to page two. And I created this uh, business uh, bookkeeping tutorial and there's three parts to it. So when this video is about to finish, what I want to do is display the second part and the third part of this tutorial. So when people finish watching the first part, the second and the third part will be automatically displayed at the end of this video. So I'm going to click on the edit button. And I'm going to go to end screen and annotations. I'm going to see the video here and really what I want to, really what I want to do is um, add a template so I'm going to use a template here and I'm going to scroll down I'm going to pick a template I'm going to use I'm going to use this one here so I'm going to click on it and select it and you'll see it says DCP Web Designers. This is the middle circle here with the logo. This is for subscription. It says subscribe here. And then I've got choose a video here and choose one here as well. But this section or this end screen that YouTube is creating for me is displaying too early. It's displaying before my tutorial is actually finished. And my tutorial finishes around, uh, around this point here. So what I need to do is move this timeline down to work out when my actual video finishes so you can see here this is a uh, on 44:20 is where I display the last section of my video where it just asks you to visit my website for more tutorials so this 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 lasts for about 10 seconds this last section of my actual video and this is where I want to display the logo here in the center and the two videos on the side so let's just move the timeline again to 4420 your video might be slightly different what I suggest you do is whenever you make your videos try and have a 20 second duration at the end so really I made this video quite a long time ago and it didn't have um, this this end screen function wasn't there at the time but if I if I were to make it again I would have made the end the end slide or the end section of my video 20 seconds long so what I want to do is move these three elements up to here. Like this. And we'll move the timeline back a little bit. And we can see what happens. So I'm going to press the play button. And it's, this is the end slide, and here you can see the new section being added by YouTube. So I've got my subscription in the middle, but I need to select a video here and select one here. I can do that by double clicking on this square here. So I just double click, and it's going to list all the videos that I have, and I can pick a specific one. I want to pick this one here, which is, let's have a look, uh, let's make sure that's the right one. Yep, this one here. So this will be part two of the video, or the tutorial, the second part. I'm going to click save. And then this one here will be the third part, this one here. So you can do a little, a few little things here. You can stagger them, so I could move this across slightly, and move this one across slightly like this. And if I just move this timeline back a little bit, and play it again, then the logo will show then the video here and then the video here and the advantage of this is when someone's watching your video on YouTube they can actually click on these videos here or they can click on your subscription in the middle so they're able to click on these two videos and actually go directly to the video itself and you can see over here 
uh, when I added the template it added the elements in for me and you can add other elements you can use up to four you see and you can put a playlist in there you can put a subscription which I already have you can promote a channel but you can't promote your own channel you can promote a different channel so if you have a different channel you can promote that in theory the logo in the middle is promoting your own channel because it's a subscription to your channel or you can provide a link uh, to your website so in theory this www.dcpweb.co.uk at the bottom here or at the top here I could have removed that and used this link function here instead um, could have done that um, okay so what we'll do now is save this and we will go to the video itself we'll skip this advert and we'll go close to the end of the video We should see the uh, end slides play. So give it a second. You just have to wait till 20, 20 seconds. Here's the end part of the video, and here's the options to subscribe to click on the videos. So that's how you create an end, end section using YouTube. Okay. Okay, so that's the end of this tutorial. I look forward to seeing you on the next one.